I know many of you will be surprised with the breaking news and the shocking information that I will be telling you guys today. As in, it is unbelievable. As in, wow. As in, wow. Wow. Like, you will not believe it because people did not see this coming. But for me and my lovely followers, those who have been working with me on this journey for more than five years now, we knew it. We never doubted it. We never for once doubted the fact that Nigeria will become the future of artificial intelligence. Nigeria will become the future of tech. Nigeria will become the future and dominate all of this artificial intelligence space. And if at the moment you are still one of those people who are doubting it, oh boy, I get updates for you. I get breaking news for you. So make sure that you are not too busy. Even if you are busy, keep whatever you have to do and watch this news. Watch what I'm about to tell you now because it go bust your bubble. Hello, I say it go bust your bubble. If you're if you don't shock, if this thing doesn't shock you, if you don't, if your mouth doesn't open like this, no be me talk. Your mouth must open. Because whenever I come with updates, I check it, check it, and make sure that is updates that is relevant, is update that is important, is updates that will add value to Nigeria, add value to Africa, and of course, most importantly, make you feel proud of Nigeria because at the end of the day, the agenda and our narrative is to make everybody believe and see that there is so much greatness in Nigeria, there's so much positive things around Nigeria, even though the rest of the world has chosen to look upon that beautiful country, that great nation, the greatest black country in the world, as if it's a failure. Even though there are so many things to look at, the failures, but we choose to simply look at those positive things, those great things that are making us proud of Nigeria as Africans and black people all over the world. Because what these people are doing is fascinating and unbelievable. Now, as you can see, my title probably will be making you think it's impossible. But I'll start by proving to you that it's possible. You understand? My title of the video, Nigeria, you know, threatening to take over China and America with artificial intelligence. Many of you will think that I'm dreaming. But let me show you now that I'm not dreaming. You get it? Yes. I know Africans, eh, no matter how you try to convince them that we Africans can do something better than China, that we Africans can do something better than America, we will not agree. Even though Nigerians have been doing it day in and day out in the field of medicine, in the field of engineering, in the field of tech, in so many fields, Nigerians have done it better than them. So where to be tech when Nigerians go for do and better than them? So I'm not one of you. I'm not one of you who think Nigeria and Africa can never do better than China and America. And that is why I want to prove it that it is going to happen. Now, first, eh, I know you people think China is great. But how come this Nigeria now has break the Guinness World Record for doing something better than Chinese and Americans? How come this Nigerian in Nigeria, this is not one of those Nigerians where I will now come on my camera, oh, this Nigerian in America has done this, this Nigerian in the UK has done this, Niger no, this Nigerian is in Nigeria. This one, this is our Oga Day Nigeria, this Nigerian I'm talking about is in Nigeria. He did not have to travel to China. He did not have to travel to Europe. He did not have to travel to America. He stayed in Nigeria and did better than Chinese. Did better than Americans. Did better than everybody else. And even got recognized by the Guinness World Record. That's, that's how the guy, the guy, no play, no play, don't play. You're gonna learn. Yes, when I tell you Nigeria is the future of many things, you're, if you don't believe it, that's your cup of tea. You understand? Now, let me take you to, let me, let me take you gradually. Before we start, before we start talking about all this. So, Tinubu, the president of Nigeria, he first of all came out to congratulate and celebrate this guy you are seeing on the screen. He celebrated the guy for his great invention because the guy just created, the guy just created the world's smallest GPS device. The world's smallest GPS device. I know it's GPS. Which Americans, Europeans, Chinese, don't they use to control us for long? They, they just sit in their offices 
use GPS, they see what's happening. They fly their drones. See, with GPS, you, with GPS, you don't need to go to Alabama in America. I mean, uh, 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 this is he a comedian or a musician? Happy with we, portable one finisher with boxing blow. <laughs> so I think he's from Alabama. Mm? So with GPS, you don't need to be in Alabama to see what is going on in Alabama. But sometimes GPS now you have to, it's complicated because it's heavy, it's big. But this Nigeria now has just received a Guinness World Record for developing and creating the world's smallest GPS. This is just one of the things I want us to talk about. This is just like, I'm just bringing this one up to show you as evidence that the people I'm talking about can actually overthrow China, can actually take over China, can actually take over America. I'm just trying to show you that Nigeria can actually take over China with artificial intelligence. Because if Chinese could make it smaller, they would have done it. You want to tell me that Chinese engineers, they, they didn't for once sit and think we can create the world's smallest GPS. Americans, their engineers and their pilots and their developers, they didn't for once think, let us create the world's smallest GPS and make it easy to use. You think? They have tried. They have tried. Just like there are so many other fields they have tried and it didn't work for them. But Nigerians have come out to prove to them that Come on, man. It might be difficult for you guys, but it is very easy for us. And we've been doing this for a long time. So this is just one. Now, it doesn't take one person. Now, I know many Nigerians will come to this now. You say, eh, he, he worked on his own. The president is congratulating him now. So what is the president of Nigeria doing? What is the government of Nigeria doing to help Nigeria youth? to rise and take over the artificial intelligence world, to rise and dominate the AI world. What is the government? That's the question many people have been asking. But so unfortunately for so many of us, when the government even takes those measures to actually do something, yeah, we don't know about it. Yes, because a lot of us are not even looking for what the government is doing. We are looking for what the government has not done to criticize. So much so that even when the government does something, we don't see it so the media doesn't show it it doesn't trend nobody talks about it and that's why Aji is the best youtube channel in the world this is this platform is gold don't play with this platform you understand don't play with it because the, we are here for that we are here for that so now look at what the nigeria government is doing huh? this is going to be surprising now so the federal government of nigeria has decided to train over 200 Nigerian youths on artificial intelligence to boost the digital workforce. Hold on, hold on. The government is not doing anything. I'm not here to defend them. All. I'm just here to say, before you say the government is not doing anything, make sure you have checked to see that something has not been done. Understand? Because I know that the government deserves to be criticized. They have to do it. In fact, there is it's a whole lot of work that needs to be done for Nigeria to be right and African countries in general, not just Nigeria. But at least let us talk about the one that is doing the progress that is happening. So over 200 Nigerian youths, they didn't say youths, they say Nigerian. So basically maybe some of you who are 50 years old, you can still jump into artificial intelligence and AI and probably you'll be among the people that will benefit from this training and i'm sure the training is definitely going to be free so the federal government has announced that the training of over 200 nigerian units on artificial intelligence and emerging technologies that's why i say this move is going to take over because it's not just about ai but emerging emerging technologies means technologies where they still develop other new ideas in the tech field that are still coming out so basically the government is making sure that Nigerians are represented in every category in so many places as far as AI is concerned. And you know what is happening in the world, that artificial intelligence, AI is the future. We all know, nobody needs to tell you that the next generation will be people who will just be using phones, computers, smartphones to do a lot of things. Schools will be, in China today, you know what's happening in China today? In China, schools is becoming ai the government even made it mandatory that people have that school schooling now will become by ai so sometimes probably people will just sit in their homes by ai all of them will not be appearing as if they are in a classroom 
You are in your house, I'm in my house, but all of us day class. And teacher will be teach. Sometimes maybe teacher will not teach herself. Very soon teachers, I'm sorry, but very soon now, unless you are teaching AI, because that your chemistry, that your mathematics, that your physics, an AI app, an AI program can just teach it all to students. They will just sit and learn. So people have to be innovative. Today, people are learning English from robots. So what makes you think they will not learn mathematics, chemistry, geology, biology, and so many other things from robots? So that's how the world is changing. And we all know that those that will have the power and the control of artificial intelligence, they will definitely be one of the biggest countries in the world, they will be the global leaders in so many ways. And if Nigeria has the plan and the agenda to actually become a trillion dollar economy, and by 2050 at its, at its projected that Nigeria will be among the top five biggest economies in the world, then artificial intelligence must not be taken for granted. The government knows this. That's why you see they are making this effort to see that the youths and the people are dragged in immediately with immediate effect so that everybody can have access and Nigeria will not be left behind. Remember, we are already getting to a different era. We are done with industrialization. Nigeria is the only African country that has even struggled to try and catch up with the industrialization. But the rest are sleeping. And now Nigeria is making that move to catch up with artificial intelligence and AI. So, guys i'm happy with this move and now finally for those who think nigeria cannot take over china and america with artificial intelligence you you are a person of small feet now i will tell you that 50 years ago if someone has said that nigerian doctors will take over america europe uk nobody would have believed they would say where how would they, they, where are they, where they will live, how? But it is happening, right? Today, majority of the tech companies in America, in UK, in Europe, they are looking for Nigerians to hire. Some of them come to Nigeria to hire. We've seen breaking stories of tech companies coming to Nigeria to hire. So what makes you think that Nigerians will not continue in that direction and eventually take over? Guys, believe, believe. You the every time they tell you believe because it go happen and nobody go stop this thing while they tell you it go definitely happen because nigerians are unstoppable my guys now they are breaking guinness world record for creating smallest gps in the world so just rest assured that this is one of those major things nigeria will be striving at very very soon it is what it is your boy Aju max on this one again and i hope you enjoy watching this video smash the like button smash the notification bell come back anytime you're free guys because there's always more beautiful and amazing videos just for you god bless y'all cheese